Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm very excited tonight to be painting on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. Obviously it's previously used, you can see. Um, and I'm gonna rush through this because the local school, I think they might be taking a break, uh, but their marching band is uh, practicing for their Christmas program. So they've been really loud recently and um, I've been waiting an hour and a half for them to finish Maybe they're done. But my husband messaged me to say that um, he has made some homemade chicken wings with mango habanero sauce, and now I'm starving and I have to go home. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through my colors. This is Holbein's Payne's Gray. This is Amsterdam, I'm sorry, um, Chroma Acryl Acrylic Essentials in white. This is this little piggy pigment in sea glass. This little piggy pigment in mermaid. And then I have uh, DecoArt 24 karat gold. And for my base coat, I've mixed up some Amsterdam's um, uh, neutral gray. I know that this dries a little bit darker than it shows at the moment. Um, so I'm hoping that these really bright colors uh, will pop against that gray color. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to do another ribbon pour, similar to what I did for my uh, two year anniversary video. And uh, I've got my canvas on a spinner, so it'll make it easier for me to do my ribbon pours. Um, but then as soon as I've, I'm done pouring, I'm gonna take this off of the uh, spinner because I do wanna tilt it out. Uh, so I'm going to layer my cups. Um, first color in is the last color out, and I want that to be a light color. So I'm going to start with this cup in the this little piggy sea glass and in this one i'm going to do the mermaid there we go and then for a little bit of contrast there i'm going to use the paints gray directly on top of it you can see that my paints are mixed to a very thick consistency they leave a mound on a mound maybe i can use the white to showcase that you can see that it's a very, very thick consistency, mound on a mound on a mound. Um, okay, so I've got my Payne's Gray. Let's go in with some 24 karat gold on top of that. On both sides. A little bit of white. Probably put these back here so you can see them. Oops. Put these down here. All right, so this one has the mermaid, so I'm going to put the sea glass next. I've made a huge mess all over my cup, so my hands are gonna be full of paint, and that's okay. So then this one's gonna get the mermaid. And we'll layer the other colors exactly the same. Paint's gray. Oops, a lot of gold apparently. <laughs> White. And then we'll go back to the again and mermaid in this one now sea glass on this side trying to keep the um, the cups with the same amount in each Oop, almost done with the Payne's gray I have enough for one more layer. I'll do the gold. I think there's going to be a gold tendency to take over, so there might be a lot of gold in this. Go back to the white. I don't think I have enough of any of these colors for one more layer except for the piggies. The mermaid on this one and the sea glass on this one. Yeah, I think we're 
we're done with the Payne's Gray. And the gold. Yep, okay, that is enough. That's about six ounces in each of those cups. For a 24 by 24 inch canvas, we want uh, 20 ounces of paint. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that now. Uh, we want about 20 ounces of paint. And uh, with my base coat, we've got more than enough to cover this canvas. I'll rub that in a little bit. It will disappear when I put my base coat down. So let's get started.
la luz del sol y las estrellas si quieres depender de mí que te ilumine a ti No quiero ser tu salvación, tampoco soy tu religión. Hacete cargo de tu vida, mi amor no significa posesión, no significa solución de tu problema, resuelve tu dilema. Quiero vivir sabiendo que hay amor profundo y sincero. Yo quiero sentir lo que es compartir la felicidad. Tampoco soy tu religión Hacerte cargo de tu vida Mi amor no significa posesión No significa solución de tu problema Anda, resuelve tu dilema So here we have our wet result. I love these colors. I simply adore this color palette. It's beautiful, gray and blue and white and gold. Oh, so pretty. I love it. And that gray is gonna dry even darker. I can't wait. So let me take you in for some details. This paint I think may have been too thick. Uh, next time I do this, I will try a slightly um, thinner consistency, but I really wanted these lines to hold their, their definition. And it did, even though they got kind of wonky and, and, and wobbly around, the colors didn't blend all that much, except for where the, they came out of the cup like that right there. Oh, look at that transparency of that TLP. Um, which one is that? That's, um, um, oh God. 
I've forgotten the name of it already, sea glass. That sea glass over top of the Payne's Gray, that's gonna dry beautiful. I love that. Look at that section there. Ooh, so pretty. I'm really, really happy with this. But I, I do think I will thin out the paints just a little bit for next time. Um, doing my math of length times width divided by 28, um, I did not have enough paint. <laughs> I, it, at the famous last words, I, I have plenty of paint. Nope, I did not. So I ended up having to mix up some more of the gray base coat for some flow extender to go around. Oh, I love that section there too. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Lovely. And this section here in the middle. I'm really happy with that. Um, I was afraid that I was using so much gold it was gonna take over and it was really only in one area. So I took one of my cups that um, I'd already poured with and just added some more, the last bit of Payne's Gray and gold. Um, and that's what that uh, really dark stripe across there is. And I think this one over here also. Um, and it provided, oh, maybe this one right here too. Yeah, that one too. It provided so much depth and I love the way, the way it kind of bisects the painting. I'm super happy with this. I hope you like it too. Um, today is Monday. These paints are super thick. I'm not sure that they're going to, it's gonna be dry in time for my Wednesday posting. Uh, so I will make sure and put this on my Instagram channel. And so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And go mix up some paints and be fearless.